Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, I got some really exciting news about the future of AMD's GPUs. Now, apparently, there's a leak that came out coming from Rogaine, and like usual, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now, apparently, the leak has been regarding the Navi 21 lineup, and of course, the rest of the GPUs that will be coming from AMD later this year. Now, first, I want to talk about Navi 21. Now, it appears that the reports are true that Navi 21 will have up to 80 compute units it's going to be a monster now the die size is around 505 millimeters squared it has 50% better performance per watt now at 80 compute units that puts it at 28 compute units more than the Xbox Series X now if the Xbox Series X is comparable anywhere from a 2080 to a 2080 Ti in performance that means that their 80 compute unit GPU is going to be a monster it most definitely is going to be more powerful than the 20 ADTI and in fact I think it's going to be quite competitive with the Ampere line coming from NVIDIA later this year. Now I do plan to get both GPUs. I'm going to get the top end NVIDIA GPU and the top end AMD GPU this year and we'll put them side by side to see where it stacks up and who will have the power crown later this year. Nonetheless I'm really excited to see that AMD is finally returning to the high end market. Now they're going to have a few variants. Now first there's a 21 XTX which is going to be similar to the 5700 XT. XT 50th anniversary edition as well they're going to have a Navi 21 XT which is going to be similar to the 5700 XT a Navi 21 XL which is going to be similar to the 5700 and finally a Navi 21 XE which is similar to the RX 5700 XT now these GPUs are only similar in the way they stack up in the line not by performance these are going to outperform those GPUs I'm really expecting a lot from these RDNA 2 GPUs I can't wait till we get full confirmation on all the specifications that AMD will launch for these GPUs later this year. Now there's also going to be some Pro variants. There's two Navi 21 variants for the Pro market. As well, they're going to have some Apple variants. Now the Pro line, most gamers aren't interested in that, so we're not really going to talk about that. And the Apple variants, those are basically Mac Pro refreshes for the iMac and probably for some Mac Pros in the future. Now when those come out, it'll be good performance for the Mac Pro line of computers. Nonetheless, not many gamers really game on a MacBook Pro. Now they are going to have some Navi 10 refreshes. There's the Navi 10 XT, which is going to be a 5700 XT replacement, as well as the Navi 10 XM Plus, which will replace the 5600 M, and last but not least, a Navi 10 XTE Plus, which will replace the 5600 XT. Now, I think it's pretty interesting that they're going to replace those GPUs with kind of a first generation kind of hybrid, so they're going to have better clocks. I'm sure they're going to be more efficient, but what I'm hearing is that they're not going to have the RDNA 2 feature so they're not going to feature ray tracing. Now this is probably a way for AMD to penetrate the lower end or I should say the budget segment of the GPU market and if we go by AMD's track record most of the time they are the leaders in the budget market for GPUs and I think that the 5700 XT, 5600 and 5600 XT replacements make sense but I'm really excited for the RDNA 2 cards. I'm quite excited to see that they will be competing with Ampere an 80 compute unit GPU is a huge deal and I think it will have monstrous capabilities not to mention ray tracing and all the other features that come with RDNA 2. The Navi 21 cards or as they say the big Navi cards are looking to be quite competitive. Now before I let you guys go I just want to touch a little bit on the CPU market. Now it appears that the Ryzen 9 will be replaced with a Ryzen 3900 XT as well as the Ryzen 7 will be replaced with a 3800 XT and Ryzen 5 will see a new 36 600 XT come to the market. Now these are going to replace their predecessors and I have to say I'm, I'm a little bit torn on this because not too long ago I bought a 3900 and now to see that they're going to be refreshing it with XT model, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence on that. Now reportedly they're going to have higher clocks, they're going to have anywhere from 5 to 10% improvement. Now if we look at where they lose to Intel, which is just the gaming benches pretty much, they lose by anywhere from 5 to 10%. Now this 5 to 10% should make them on par with Intel for gaming and let's 
let's not forget that we have the 4000 line of CPUs coming from AMD later this year and those are expected to finally take the crown from Intel to be the gaming champs in CPU performance. Anyways, there was a lot of news today so I just want to know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for these big Navi cards? Are you excited for the Navi refresh cards? Maybe you're just building an entry level PC, you don't want to spend a lot of money. Those entry level replacements will fit well in your budget. As well, what do you think about the new 3900XT, 3800XT and 3600XT refreshes? Are you going to hold off to building your computer or are you going to wait for the new 4000 line of CPUs? Please let me know in the comment section down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.